Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Manny Imue and Nicole Concilio struggling with the new Morphe Foundation. If you have not already seen my video from yesterday about Jaclyn Hill and her Morphe drama, then I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner, as well as a link down in the description. If you are new to this channel, hello, welcome, how the fuck are you doing? If you could please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome the fuck back. If you could please make sure that you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. Opinions are not fact. I invite you guys to do your own research on this type of stuff as well by watching other people's videos and then coming back to the comment section so we can have a healthy adult conversation. Please do not send any hate to anyone or any brands that I speak on in my videos because that is not what they are meant for. They are meant for us just to have a messy ass time here on YouTube. Morphe seems to be the name on everybody's lips right now and not for such a good reason. They announced earlier that they are going to be releasing 60 shades of foundation fluidity, which sounds amazing if you don't actually do some research into it. Because Jaclyn Hill announced over on her Snapchat that she received the PR package, showed off the whole PR package, and people started to question, where are the darker shades? Jaclyn in that snap held up a card that had models from all different races, all different complexions, and it seemed to be something that would be amazing. Well... It's not. After receiving a lot of backlash on the interwebs, Morphe has gone into panic mode. They have started to ask all of their influencers, who have affiliate codes with them, to please do live swatches on their Instagram and their Snapchat stories so they can try to clear their name. Well, that idea from Morphe seems to have backfired because Nicole Concilio actually took to her Snapchat to do the live swatches and... Oh, things didn't end so well. Let's see what she had to say. So these are swatches from the Morphe New Fluidity Foundation. This is the darkest shade and this is the lightest shade. I wanted to swatch them so that you guys could get a pretty good idea. Also, every row looks like it's kind of its own. Like from here we go from light to dark and like same for each row. It's kind of like broken up that this is the light, this is the medium, and then these here on the end are the darkest. There's a little bit of staining on the deepest shade, so it's making me feel like if you were to use this foundation, you probably would have to blend it out pretty fast. That's just my, like, first impressions of it. I'm about to film a review on the foundation. I'm gonna do a wear test. I'm gonna wear it for, like, the whole day, do some check-ins, see how it does. Also gonna check out the concealers as well. But I obviously won't be able to wear all of these shades, so I'm thinking about doing some more giveaways for you guys. And yeah, I'm excited to test this out. I'm not really sure how to pick my shades, so hopefully I pick a good shade. And then this right here is the shade range card. I just found out there was a whole side to this, so this is all of the shade range with the different skin tones. So I just took the liberty of swatching all of the deeper shades in the Morphe collection. This is them. I know a bunch of you guys were requesting this, so I hope that this is helpful. There's no flash. This is what it looks like. My hand is a little bit stained, but here are primarily the lighter tone shades, the lightest shades. We have some yellow undertones. So yeah, this is pretty much what we're working with. Okay, so I have the Morphe foundation on right now. I'm going to be doing a wear test for you guys throughout the day. Um, first impressions, it went on really nice, but, but. Okay guys, so I just finished my wear test for the Morphe foundation. Um, stay tuned for my review slash tutorial slash check-in wear test situation. I have been wearing this foundation for hours now, so keep that in mind, but I did want to give you a little preview. My skin looks very texturized. It normally doesn't look like that. It's normally like way more smooth looking. So we'll see. You just gotta stay tuned for my video. Nicole also tweeted out, here is most of the light shades swatched of the Morphe foundations. My hand is a little stained from swatching the previous shades. So I'm assuming you have to blend this foundation fast so it doesn't dry. She continued with, what are your guys' thoughts? This is swatches of almost all the dark shades from the Morphe foundation. Also, babes, I know that these shades will look totally different on people of color. I was just swatching because my DMs were flooded with requests. Not really sure how helpful it is, but to possibly give some idea of the shades. 
While I am sure that Nicole was receiving DMs about people wanting to know about this shade range because they know that she is affiliated with Morphe, I wish that she could have been honest with everyone and not tried to play it off with, I just took the liberty of swatching these so you guys could understand. No, girl. Be honest. Morphe was asking you to do these swatches because they're trying to save their ass because this foundation launch is just not going the way they planned. I can't wait to see the full review from Nicole because I really hope that she keeps it 100% honest with people and does not worry about pissing Morphe off by giving them a negative review. Because just watching her Snapchat, I think Nicole is very talented when it comes to makeup, but she herself said that this foundation has left her skin extremely texturized, as well as, in my opinion, it looked like she aged like 10 years. It was such a thick consistency, it literally looked like paint on her face. Someone responded to Nicole on Twitter and said, Thank you, babes, for being so honest and nice. Everyone else was hyping up and up actually are telling the truth even though you have an affiliate code with them. To be honest, the only thing I obsess over from them is the OG Jaclyn Hill palette. And the brushes, that's it. Speaking of Jaclyn Hill, I think it's very funny that Jaclyn in her Snapchat the other day said that she just received this PR kit, but then later in that same Snapchat she said that she's been playing with these for a few weeks because Linda sent them to her, but never made mention that she was wearing the foundation and the concealer because one, I don't think that she was actually fucking wearing it. And two, Morphe put this on their Instagram yesterday saying, you looking hella Gucci girl at Jaclyn Hill is starting off 2019 looking fine. And she beat her face with fluidity. She used foundation in the shade F2.60 and concealer in C2.55 and we're living for it. I will say this though, if that in fact is the foundation and the concealer that Jacqueline is wearing in that photo, then she does look flawless and she looks gorgeous. So props to Morphe if that is actually their foundation and concealer. I'm just gonna have to say that I don't fucking believe that. Now let's move on to Manny MUA and what he had to say in his review on YouTube. That was kind of a rhyme. It is no secret that Manny is affiliated with Morphe. But the question is, will Manny, after the year that he had last year, lie to his subscribers just so he can earn some coin from his affiliate code? Well, this is what he had to say in his review. Okay, you guys, tell me this does not look exactly like the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible packaging. It's just like that classic two packaging. It's not the most expensive. It's not cheap. I mean, just basic. Like, it's not like revolutionary, but it's not like bad either. L'Oreal, Morphe. It has like that window, window, black, black. Morphe's like, hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but don't make it like too similar. Morphe. <laughs> the scent is, oh my gosh, it smells like Estee Lauder double wear. Do you guys know what that smells like? It smells like almost painty. I know it sounds like intense, but usually like those matte, like full coverage kind of foundations have a very industrial strong scent. This is not different in any way, shape or form. Like it's strong. And I'm also using their little sponge that they came with. Just I wanna try the sponge out. Okay, first impressions, the coverage is fucking real, honey. The coverage is really, really real. I'm really inspecting here, you guys. So I haven't really gone in with a full ass matte foundation in a long time, just because I feel like with matte foundations, they just like fall into my pores really easily. And I'm noticing with this foundation, it's doing that right here. Like I can see my pores quite largely, like they're big right here. I feel like with like mixed foundations, it doesn't give you that effect. But this one, I definitely, definitely notice it does. Also, my smile lines, the foundation's starting to settle in the smile lines a little bit. Don't love that either. But you guys, so far, really happy with the product so far. Honestly, I think that he did a great job. And that is where Manny lost me in his review. Okay, you said the product smelled like paint. I understand that some foundations can have a strong scent. Some people can stand it, some people hate it. It's just your preference. But you're sitting there telling everyone that it's falling into your pores because it is so matte. You're getting smile lines in it. But so far, you are really impressed with the product. Let me know below in the comments, would you be impressed with a product that is texturizing your face as well as giving you smile lines? Would that be a product that you still would recommend to people? Let's continue with what Manny had to say. And I'm not gonna do anything more. I'm literally just gonna go to like my meetings like this. <sighs> Looking like a hot ass mess, but at least I'm hot. At least I'm hot. Right? Okay guys, so for my first impressions portion of this video, I will definitely say that so far, let's just go down in the fucking line. Let's just go in the fucking line so far. And this is like in the beginning, right? This is in the beginning. This is my first impressions portion. Hit or miss, would I say that the foundation primer is a hit or miss? I would say it's a hit for the price point too. It's definitely a good smoothing base, like pore filling base. I mean, I still have, you know, my pores are still very much showing. So I'm not sure if that was like the primer's doing, the foundation's doing, but I think for the price point, it's pretty darn good. Wait a minute, you cotton-headed ninny muggins. 
How the hell are you going to recommend that primer that is for pore filling, but in the same sentence say that it didn't really fill your pores and your pores are still extremely visible? That is not something that should be recommended. I don't wear makeup, but I'm pretty sure that it's not doing the job that it is intended to do. The foundation so far is a hit. I love the coverage, I love the consistency. I love the way it feels on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's too heavy, like I'm wearing too much makeup. And the coverage is really, 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 really nice. Um, I don't like about it that it's falling into my pores and I feel like my smile lines are gonna start getting to crack very, very, very soon. And also if you are dry, I do not think that you would like it. Or you could, if you're just like really heavily moisturized or using really, really hydrating primers, then I think it could work for you for sure, of course. I think you can make anything work for you as long as you, you know, do the things that you need to do with your skin. But if you're just classically like dry without doing anything to your skin, I'm not sure if you would really like this. But for me, because I am more oily combo, I do like it for sure. I have to wear it throughout the day to see how it sits in and settles into the skin. But first impression so far, I do like it. Here I am confused once again because he's been sitting there for what? Maybe two hours applying this makeup, recording this video. It has already settled into his pores. It has already given him smile lines. How are you going to say that this is a product that you like? You have not even stepped out into the day yet. Concealer, I do like it a lot. It's a little bit drying, but I do really, really like it. The coverage is beautiful. It's brightening. It's stunning. Powder, also have to try this one more, but first impressions, I do like it as well. So I kind of have to see what I think but it feels very nice. It's very, very silky, it's very lightweight. It's just a nice setting, little like airy powder because it's definitely not heavy, but it looks really pretty. Hey guys, so it is currently hour number two and a half checkup point. So this is what the skin looks like right now. I'm definitely cracking. Release the cracking. Release the cracking. On the sides of the face, it's definitely falling into my fine lines and wrinkles in that area. Other than that though, not oily. Looking pretty good so far still. If you guys can see a little bit closer. Right there, as you guys can see, not too oily, a little bit oily on the nose, for sure. Nothing bad, but so far, pretty good, other than the fact that it is creasing on my smile lines, pretty bad. So far, so good. <sighs> okay, you guys, what is up? I am checking in at the eight hour mark, honey. I'm <laughs> winded, I walked up the stairs and I'm winded. Woo! Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the skin, what we think. This is after eight hours of wear. As we can see, there's areas on my forehead that are missing foundation, like where I touched my face. This is with no touch up. I'm definitely oily. As we can see, we are oily. The highlighter stayed beautifully. <laughs> but the foundation did stay on for sure. My smile lines, there's definitely separation in this area right here. Right here, right here on my nose. Smile lines are creased the freak up but honestly i would say that it still looks really pretty even though it's oily on my skin it still looks really really pretty to me i'm confused you're missing makeup on your forehead because you touched your skin you have smile lines that are awful it's falling into your pores but to you it still looks really really pretty now i don't know if manny needs to wear glasses or if he didn't have his contacts in or if the lasik just is not working anymore for him but just from that description that he gave himself, I would have to say if someone saw you in person, it would not look really, really pretty. Okay, let me just go down the row. Primer, I liked it. It's definitely, it was definitely a cute primer, you know, a cute drugstore equivalent primer. I would definitely suggest this if you guys have bigger pores and you try using this. I think that it did work really, really nicely. It felt very, very nice on the skin, very silky, very smooth. Felt like... My Smashbox one, it could be a great dupe for that Smashbox one. Okay, now he is just full of shit. How is he going to sit there and say that that primer does its job? It works really well. But earlier, literally two clips ago, he said that it was falling into his pores. Girl, if this is not just trying to push a Morphe product, I do not know what it is. So that was really, really cool. The foundation, I really liked it for $18. I think that's a really fair price point. It's not quite drugstore price. It's not like $7, but it's not like high end price point either where it's 40. That's definitely right in between that. All in all, I would say that this collection was a hit for me. I think that was really, really, really good. If you are more on the oily side or combo or normal, I think you guys will really, really like these products. If you're dry, I would suggest using things that are really hydrating underneath it. But I still think that you can definitely work with them for sure. So congratulations to Morphe. You guys did an amazing, amazing job. The drop was amazing. It's crazy to think back because I've been a Morphe affiliate for I think four years now. I was their third ever affiliate. Like I grew with that company and I've been with them for so long so long and to see like where they started out and to see where they are now where they have freestanding stores and like they're coming out with these drops which is 60 foundations like 
Holy shit, dude. How many brands can do that right away? You know, not many. So I just want to say congratulations to Morphe on your guys' amazing launch. The product itself is beautiful. I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. Like, I'm really, honestly, pleasantly surprised. Spill the Tea over on Twitter actually made a list of the pros and cons that Nicole, Jacqueline, and Manny have all said about this Morphe launch, and the cons go as follows. Smells painty. Dries really fast. This could be a pro, but it's a con for me. Extremely drying. Stains. Powdery if you don't use a setting spray. Extremely matte, yet somehow still doesn't keep you from getting oily. Transfers. Settles into lines. Separates. Shows large pores. Weird undertones. The pros go as follows. Affordable. Made in the USA. Unclear if the ingredients are from the USA. Full coverage. They killed it. It's beautiful. Inclusive. Morphe affiliates still recommend it despite all the cons. If you're dry, just manipulate it. Now let's get into what I really think about this launch from Morphe. If they were honestly launching 60 shades that were inclusive to everyone, I think it would be fucking amazing. But it's turning out to not be what they are promising. I don't see how Manny and other affiliates can sit there and say that it's such a great product when in their videos and their Snapchats, they're saying that it is texturizing their face, settling into their pores, it is accentuating wrinkles that are on their face like smile lines, and this is all happening within the hour that they are filming their video. They can't even get out the door and experience the day. In Manny's video alone, he was sitting there recording the video, then did his update two hours after having it on his face, and there was extreme creasing in his smile lines, and his pores were enlarged. I also don't understand how Morphe could be pushing a product that stains your skin. Unless Morphe is going into the self-tanning route as well, and this is supposed to be like some self-tanner that you're putting on your face, no one is going to want to wear a foundation that stains. Hell, people don't even want to wear freaking eyeshadows that stain. I honestly feel that Morphe preys on these impressionable teens and young followers of these subscribers. They know this product is not it. Manny knows this product is not it. Nicole, that is left up to determination because she has not released her video yet but just judging by her snapchat i don't think that she's going to be that impressed with it so i am very curious to see if she's going to give an honest review or if she's just going to try to keep morphe happy at the end of the day what this boils down to is do not believe everything that these influencers are telling you do not use their code for everything that they are trying to sell you they have codes so that they can make money you need to do the research yourself and watch people that don't have the codes. Watch people who are not affiliated with Morphe in any way. Watch those reviews, then judge it for yourself, and then if it's a great product, buy it for yourself. But don't do it just because some large influencer is telling you that this is fucking amazing when in their down bar, you know they're getting a fucking percentage. That is it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it's a long one. Please follow me on all of my social media listed down below, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.